Hey guys, welcome back to another Woodbury video. In this week's video, we're building a really cool media center that's got some built-in significance into the front doors. It's kind of what inspired us to really get more into traveling and doing a lot of the things that we love to do outside the shop. So without further ado, let's, let's get, get started. started. First thing we are doing is breaking down our materials. We have two sheets of 4x8 maple plywood and we are ripping those down to width for the top and bottom of the media center as well as the sides, center divider, and shelves. We do have a set of plans for this project available with all the measurements and how to assemble it in the link down below. Next we can start cutting these pieces to length with the combination of the miter saw and the table saw. If you don't have either one of these, a circular saw will work just fine. We also have two two foot by four foot quarter inch MDF panels that we are going to cut down for the doors. We will set those aside for right now until we are ready for them. Moving over to the router table, we are going to router out two grooves for the doors to slide in and pass each other, pretty much like those mid-century type pieces. We used a quarter inch spacer block to get the router bit to the right height and so the fence is the right distance away from the bit. The first groove is a quarter inch in from the edge. Then we move the fence backwards, and I mean just a hair back, to take off a little more so the MDF doors can run smoothly inside. Now we can move on and make the second pass to create the second groove by moving the fence back another quarter inch and repeating the same process. For the top piece of plywood, we need to router the groove just in the inside and not go all the way across. When the top piece goes on the cabinet, all the edges are exposed, so we need to conceal the ends of the groove. These grooves are also deeper than the bottom ones and that is so the doors are able to be taken in and out. Next, we need to make some legs. We are using a select pine 2x2 board and cutting four of the same length pieces and one smaller support piece to go in the middle of the media center. The sheet pieces need some pocket holes drilled before we can assemble. The side pieces and center divider get pocket holes on three sides, leaving the fourth side empty. We will be attaching the bottom piece straight from the outside so no pocket holes there. We also need pocket holes on the, the shelves on the two shorter sides and on the back piece around all four sides. Before we go any further, we are going to sand everything with 220 grit sandpaper. The legs are going to run down the length of the entire cabinet so we need to make notches out of the four corners of the bottom piece to accommodate for those legs. Now just for assembly of the two sides. When screwing pocket holes, it really helps to have the pieces clamped together so that they don't move apart when screwing.
While we let the glue dry on those sides, we want to edge band every side you'll see from the sides in front of the media center. No one ever looks at the back, so we will save that edge banding for something else. to assemble. We have the sides, bottom, and back clamped down together first and then we can screw it together. Next is for the center divider and shelves. Lastly is the bottom, which took a few tries to get the legs fitted in right. Time for cutting the door design on the X scarf. The design is a topo map of our first ever hike together back in 2016. We went over to the Midwest, which was only supposed to be for a weekend, but realized Colorado was only 10 hours away. It was a dream location for us to go, and we drove there and decided to climb the tallest mountain in the Rockies, which was both our first ever 14er, and that mountain was called Mount Elbert. That trip was one that kicked off our traveling bug, and we have been nonstop since. So you could say that these doors are pretty special to us. I'm assuming you wouldn't want Mount Elbert on your media center doors, so you could also get a piece of pegboard if you don't have a CNC but also want a pattern. If you do have a CNC, this is the part to get creative because the possibilities are seriously endless. Thank you Inventables for helping make this project possible. While the first door is getting cut out, we started spraying on our Halcyon finish onto the cabinet. Then when the second door was getting cut out, we sprayed a dark teal paint onto the first door and we will do the same with the second door when it's done. A last minute decision, but we decided to add a small natural wood piece so you can hold and slide the doors. We didn't really want to drill out a hole for a finger pull. Aren't they just the cutest thing you ever seen? Molly, ain't them clamps just so cute? Look at them. Just look at them. I'm looking. That is just the cutest thing I have ever seen. Cutest thing. That ought to be in Betty Crocker's holiday gift list for your husband. Betty Crocker's? Yes. After that, we can put the doors into place and the project is done. 
Thank you to Inventables for sponsoring this week's project. You can check out the X Carve in the link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. This media center is pretty much perfect for us and it will fit in any space that we will ever have. Not to mention it's very special now that it has our first ever hike on the doors. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed and we will see you next week.